Eugene here with a review on the Mega Man X Maverick Hunters Field Guide. And friends, this is the hardcover edition. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the front cover. Right here it says Mega Man X Maverick Hunters Field Guide uh, by Udon and Capcom. And we got a nice shot of Mega Man X, Frost Walrus, Chill Penguin, Split Mushroom, Commander Yam Mark, Storm Eagle, Izzy Glow, Sp um, Web Spider, and Burn Dino Rex on the front cover here. And so on the side, uh, pretty much um, says Udon and the name of the book. And a nice shot of X and by Capcom. All right, friends, this hardcover release was slated to be released on August 17, 2021, but was delayed to August 31st, 2021. Now, this guide is your ultimate handbook to the Reploids of the 22nd century. And inside, friends, you'll find detailed profiles on every dangerous Maverick, plus other important characters like X, Zero, Axel, Sigma, Vile, and many, many more, friends. And also, this info is on the back cover of this guide. This handbook is 184 pages long of extreme mega fun. And of course, friends, lastly, this guide is retailed at $29.99. So getting to the heart of this book, and we're starting off with page one here. And as you can see, it pretty much says the name of the book. And then uh, right here, got a nice cover art from Rockman X6. That is pretty. I like that. On page uh, two. Uh, again, we got another nice cover art here, pretty much from the Legacy Collection. Uh, pretty much, as you can see here, from uh, Mega Man X1, Mega Man X2, Mega Man X3, and Mega Man X4. And then on page 3, uh, here is the table of contents with the name of the book again, and uh, Alia on it. And so on page uh, four and five, we got some more nice artwork here, but we got some information here stating pretty much saying, welcome to the Maverick Hunters, who is who it was funded by uh, Maverick Hunters known as Irregular Hunters. And at one day you'll rise through the ranks of a S-class hunter. And uh, pretty much all that just here, just different artworks and stuff here. And um, I believe right here, uh, this, ca this art came from the Rockman X1 through X6 original soundtrack. And so right now I will apologize for that glare coming from my light and uh, pretty much doing it early in this review. So anyway. now on page six, here is a gill. And on page seven, here is ale. And so I will say this, I, um, I may read a few profiles, not all of them, but this is what the profiles look like with the field image, which is a sprite, uh, the artwork and the information on the reploid. And so if you're wondering when this guy appeared, what game uh, this guy appeared in, well, that's an easy answer right there. Right here, it says X2, so Mega Man X2. So anyway, and of course, it will show, you know, if they have a Japanese uh, name, uh, you know, uh, their affliction, if, you know, if they're an ex-hunter, uh, their weapon, you know, and then a known weakness. So that's pretty much how that works here. So let's continue on here. And so on page eight, here is Alia. She uh, first appeared in Mega Man X5. And then uh, here is Armor Armadillo on page nine. And then on page 10, here is Avalanche Yeti. And uh, he appeared in Mega Man X8. And so on page 11, 12, and 13, is pretty much on our boy here. Axel. And so, um, anyway, here's a, a shot of him here. And then uh, I think that sprite came off of the PlayStation 2, I believe. And so, on the next page, uh, this is a nice artwork of him from Mega Man X7. And then uh, this is a nice artwork from Mega Man X8. So, that's pretty much how these profiles work in this book. So, on here. page 16, here is Bit. And on page uh, 17, here is Blast Hornet. Uh, next on page 18 here is Blaze Heatnix. And on page uh, 19 here is Blizzard Buffalo. And then on page 20 here is uh, Blizzard Wolfang. And then on page 21 here is Boomerang Kowanger. And from what I read off of this profile, his profile states that he is the brother of Gravity Beetle. 
And so, and then uh, right here, uh, uh, this is pretty much the Japanese name here. So in Japan, he is known as Boomer Koanger. Well, on page 26 here is Bite. And on page 27 here is Dr. Kane. And so uh, there is his uh, sprite right there, the nice artwork. And then uh, pretty much, you know, it just says here's a, his uh, affliction is the Maverick Hunters. He, he has an unknown, uh, um, unknown weapon. And the known weakness, of course, old age nuclear weapons. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, read these two paragraphs here. So anyway, it says Dr. Kane was behind the creation of the first Reploids that rolled off the assembly belt. Which is why most of the public still regret him as a sort of father of Reploids. Truthfully, he never would have convinced of human of Reploids without the help of Mega Man X, whom he found slumbering in a capsule while on a mundane archaeologist dig for prehistoric plant life. The diagnosis of the capsule suggested it was safe to open, which Dr. King did eagerly but carefully. He made a friend in Mega Man X whose capacity for thinking freely and emotionally was far beyond the capacity of the robots that toddler around in Kane's time. But there was something else in the capsule alongside Mega Man X. A warning for the generation that would unearth him. The plea pending by the great Dr. Thomas Light warned that Mega Man X harbored infinite possibility but also infinite danger for the comparative fragile human species. Thus, Dr. Light had sealed the prototype uh, robot, excuse me, prototype robot away to run valuable diagnosis that would ensure Mega Man X's devotion to the first law of robotics. A robot must never harm a human being. On page 28, here is Chief R from Command Mission. And in page 29, there is Chill Penguin. And then on page uh, 30, there is Cinnamon. Uh, page 31, there is a uh, Colonel. Uh, page 32, there is Commander Yanmark. As you can tell, it's pretty much uh, saying here he was on X6. On uh, page 33, there is Crescent Grizzly. Uh, right here, it says that in the, uh, in the Alliance, Grizzly Slash, Berserk Iron Claw. And so on page 34, there is Crush Crawfish. And then I'm going to get close up, but there is his Japanese name, uh, Scissors Shrimper. <laughs> and a nice artwork of, of him and the uh, sprite as well. And then on page 35, there is Crystal Snail. And then on page 36, here is Cyber Peacock. And friends, I like his Japanese names. You want to know what it is? Cyber Kajucker. And so the nice artwork here and the uh, the sprite there or the field image there. And then on page uh, 37, there is Dark Mantis. You can see he's from Mega Man X8. There is his field image. And uh, more on him on the uh, bottom there. And so on page uh, 38, there is Dark Necrobat from Mega Man X5. Nice artwork of him there. And his sprite. And then on page 39, there is Dr. Doppler. And you can see the nice artwork of him as well as his place, his uh, Super NES sprite. So on page 46, here is Epsilon and pretty much Epsilon cloaked. And page 47, here is Epsilon again, but this time uncloaked. So skipping to page uh, 50, here is Flame Mammoth. And on page 51, here is Flame Stag. And in, uh, right here, his Japanese name is pretty much Flame Stagger. And in, uh, right here, um, um, in his profile, it is stated he was friends with Boomerang Kawanger. And so right here, it says the hot-headed Flame Stag was once a member of the Maverick Hunter 17 Elite Unit. But he was defeated along with his friend Boomerang Kawanger when Sigma first declared war on humanity. And so anyway, on page uh, 54 and 55, here is Gate, uh, pretty much Gate in his lab coat and his combat armor. On page 58, here is General, and uh, right here this does indicate he was on X4. 
And on page 59, here is Geekable Man of War. And his profile states that, you know, he is a new generation of Reploids. So, anyway, uh, page uh, 60. And I'm hoping I get this name right, but here is God Car Machine O Inery. And it's pretty much bit and bite combined together into this combo here. So. Anyway, and you can tell which is half bit and half bite. So, anyway, on page 61, here is Gravity Antonian. And on page 62, here is Gravity Beetle. And uh, pretty much uh, it states here that he wants to get revenge on X on what he did to his brother Boomerang Wanger, which was uh, destroyed him in the first Mega Man game. And so, on page uh, 63, here is Ground Scourge. So, on page 70, here is Jet Stingray. And I'm going to get a little close up here, but there is his uh, Japanese name, Jet Stingren. And he is known as the Aqua Destroyer. Nice image of him there. And, of course, there is his PlayStation sprite there. Page 71 here is Launch Octopus, and in his profile, it is stated that he was the first to join Sigma's Uprising. So, page uh, 72 here is Lair, and then page 73 here is Lifesaver. Page 74 here is Luminae. Page 75, Mac. Nice artwork of him. You know, I spent years trying to find an artwork of him when I was doing like a little uh, collection booklet of artwork, you know, from what Capcom made for us. And I had a, one hell of a time trying to find this artwork of Mac here. But I did I did a long time ago. But uh, anyway, page uh, 76 uh, here is Mac Gentra. And then page 77, here is Magma Dragoon. And I love, love his Japanese name, which is Magmar Dragoon. Pretty much a martial artist of Exploding Flame. Love that art there. And then there is his uh, sprite. And so, page 78, there is Magna Centipede. And on page 79, here is Marno from Command Mission. All right, friends. So on page 80 through 84, pretty much is on our boy Mega Man X, or X rather, pretty much our hero of the game here. And so anyway, uh, right here, you can see uh, the alias X, Rockman X. So in Japan, he is known as Rockman X. To us here in the U.S., Mega Man X. And so got some nice artwork and everything. Uh, I'm not going to be reading all his profile here. I'll just show you uh, pretty much, you know, the events here. Um, of course, this was pretty much the time when Dr. Light uh, created him, when Dr. Kane found him here, and then the whole uh, fiasco all in X1 went on, and then uh, here is where X2 begins, and then uh, on the next page, you know, uh, pretty much all the events during X3, X4, X5, and then X6. And then on this page here, pretty much on X7, X8, and Command Mission. And we got some very beautiful artwork here of X here with, with the Z Saber in the hand. I love that one. That one's from X6. And then uh, this one here is from Command Mission. Now, I mean, and, and look at the difference between uh, his standard blue armor to the Command Mission armor. A big difference. And uh, let me go back. But uh, anyway, this is a nice little coming at you pose of X here. But uh, anyway, and then on page 84, uh, it continues on of X, but pretty much talking about the armors. And so they'll get they'll get more into detail on the armors at the end of this book here. And you'll see that a little later on in this review. But uh, anyway, it's just got a nice shot of X's first armor here and how it all works. And so on page 85, uh, here is Metal Shark Player. And he is definitely from... X6. On page 88 here is Nana and she is from Command Mission. You can see right here it says XCM so X Command Mission and a nice artwork of her and then pretty much you know the entire uh, description of her uh, what happened to her in uh, X Command Mission. And so on page 89 uh, there is Neon Tiger. Love that artwork but you can pretty much tell he is from um, X3. Of course his claw is covering up the three. But uh, anyway, and you can see his Japanese name is Shiny Tiger. There's his sprite. 
pretty much what happened to him all during X3. And so anyway, on page uh, 90, there is Optic Sunflower. And then page 90, Overdrive Ostrich. Love that artwork. And then of course there's a sprite. And then on page uh, 92, there is Palette from Mega Man X8. Nice little artwork of her and pretty much, you know, her sole purpose in Mega Man X8. And on page 93, friends, here is Dr. Psyche, uh, definitely from X Command Mission. And then uh, just, you know, a description of him, you know, what he did in the game and everything and his artwork. You can tell he is a psycho. On page 96, here is Red from Red Alert. Page 97, there is Red Ips. Next page, uh, page 98, here is Rod Borsky from Mega Man X7. And then page 99, there is Scarface from X Command Mission. Page uh, 100, uh, here is Surges from Mega Man X2. There's his sprite and that nice artwork of him. And so, anyway, and uh, right here it does give you a little glimpse that, you know, he was pretty much uh, said to be comparable to that of the legendary math scientist Dr. Albert Wiley. So, Surges was the leader of the Maverick uh, sub-factor known as the X-Hunters. And so, on page 101, there is Shadow from Command Mission. And so, anyway, on page 102, there is Shield Sheldon. And 103, Shiny Firefly, or also known as Easy Glow. Page 104, 105, and 106 pretty much focuses on the villain of the game, Sigma. So there's there he is in his X3 uh, body, and then his original body. And I'm not gonna give you, I'm not gonna read the uh, the whole profile because there's a lot, you know. I mean, of course he he was. Uh, pretty much uh, a Maverick Hunter himself, but became a Maverick. So, and that pretty much all happened in X1. In the next page, uh, there is on page 106, Veil Garter, and then the Maverick emblem, and then the field image. And so, on page 107, uh, there is Cygnus. And then on page 108, there is Silver Horns from Command Mission. Or Silver Horn, excuse me, not with an S. And then on page uh, 109, here is Slash Beast. You can tell he's from X4. And that is a really cool artwork of him. And then there's his sprite. But I love, love his Japanese name, which is called Slash, Slash Beast Leo. And then, uh, just information on him, what happened through him, to him in X4. On page 110, here is Snipe Anteater. In page 111, there is Soldier Stone Kong. Next page, page 112, here is Spark Mandrill from the very first Mega Man X game. Uh, right here, this does say that uh, uh, his Japanese name is Spark Mandriller. And look at that cool artwork of him. And his sprite right here. And just everything that happened to him in that very first Mega Man X game. And so on 113, here is Spider and Friends. Uh, Spider is Red Ips spelled backwards. And that's what it says right here by Alias. And this is something even I didn't know. So you live and you learn, right? But uh, And pretty much what happened to him in the game as Spider. But uh, anyway, on page 114, uh, here is... Uh, Spike Red Rose, also known as Axel the Red. And then on page 115, here is Spiral Pegasus, or also known as the Skurver. Really nice artwork. I love this artwork. I cannot help to harp on that. And on page 116, there is Splash Warfly from Mega Man X7. Looks cool. But anyway, uh, 117, there is Split Mushroom. And right here it says he is known as Little Devil of the Ruins. And so, really cool artwork of him here and his sprite. And so, anyway, on page 
118 and 119 is pretty much all on steel Massimo from X command mission. And so on this page here is pretty much the original. And then on page 19 is pretty much on the new version of Massimo or steel Massimo rather. So anyway, on page 120, there is steam chameleon. And then on page 121, there is storm Eagle. And on page uh, 122, here is Storm Owl from Mega Man X4. And uh, I love, 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 love his uh, Japanese name, Storm Fukurao. And then uh, his sprite right here. And then according to his, uh, his profile here, he has a dislike for Chill Penguin. <laughs> okay. And so... Um, Anyway, so on page 123, there is the Tails Clan Nine Tails from X Command Mission. Nice artwork of him, by the way. And pretty much, <laughs> this is pretty much at the end of X Command Mission, the game. Uh, pretty much just, you know, talking about his background and so on. On page 126, here is Tornado Tunyon. And uh, right here, I'm going to get a little close up here, but it says, uh, his Japanese name is Tornado de Bunyan. And definitely telling us he is from X7. And look at that cool artwork of him. So on page 127, there is Toxic Seahorse from X3. Page 128, there is Tunnel Rhino. And in 129, there is Vanishing Gungaroo. Now, friends, on page 130, 131, 132, and 133, pretty much all on vial. And so uh, right here, um, his Japanese name is Vava. But Vile only appeared in the first X game as well as X3 and X8. And so here he is uh, from his X, uh, his very, uh, the X1's uh, um, original form of Vile. And then the ride armor. And so I'm not going to be reading the profile here because we all know what happened to Vile and how twisted he was in the game, you know. And so... Anyway, here's a nice artwork of him in his X3 form to in his uh, X8 form. And uh, here he is in the Brown Bear Gauntlet Ride armor. I mean, really cool artwork. Like I said, can't help to, uh, to credit him on the artwork. But anyway, here is uh, Violin from, uh, from Mega Man X2. This is page 134. I uh, got the nice artwork here. And then uh, right here, there's the sprite. And then now look, his Japanese name is Neo Violin. So on page 135, there is Vault Catfish. Page 136, there is uh, Vault uh, Krukin. I hope I got that right, but he's also known as Squid Adler. But look at that cool art shot of him. Really cool. And on page 137, here is Web Spider from X4. And I love his, his uh, Japanese name, Web Spidus, with a U-S instead of the E-R for our spider. But really cool artwork of him. So anyway, on page uh, 138, there is Wheel Gator from X2. 139, there is Wild Django from X Command Mission. Uh, page 140, here is Wen Korang. From X7. Look at that cool art shot of him. And on page 141, here is Wire Sponge from Mega Man X2. And look at that cool artwork and the sprite and everything on Wire Sponge here. On pages 143 through 148, pretty much all on zero. Yes, friends, X is best friend. And so right here, this will state that he is, he was once known as the Red Maverick before becoming a Maverick Hunter. So, and uh, right here we got a nice artwork shot of him from the very first X game. And uh, there is his sprite. So, again, I'm not going to read the profile, but just show you the artwork here. Um, and just to show you how many pages, you know, his profile is, you know. I, I think we're talking about probably about one, two, three, four, five six pages all on our boy zero here but anyway but look at the cool artwork this one's from x7 i have always loved this back shot of zero always have especially with his hair frolicking like that and just you know other things about the artwork and stuff like that and then on this page here just another really cool shot of him 
and then more on him and so on pretty much you know his his um his weapons that he learned from defeating a maverick boss let's put it that way so on page 149 here is zero nightmare now at the beginning i had a real bad habit on calling him nightmare zero but i kind of liked it and of course i remember on one of my on one of my reviews on my review on him as the model kit someone said that nightmare zero sounds lame well, I got news for you. I like it. And I'm going to stick to my gun here and pretty much I'm going to call him whatever I want. All right, friends. So here we go with this section now, which is known as the appendix. And so this is pretty much my favorite part of this book here. But here we go with X's armors. Yes. And so I talked about this when I was showing off the profile of X himself. But uh, anyway, on page 151, there is the first armor. Page 151, here are the second armor and third armor. And then on page 152, here is the fourth armor. And then here is the Ultimate Armor Legacy version. And then on page 153, there is the Ultimate Armor version 1. And then my favorite armor, the Falcon armor. And on page 154, there is the Gaia armor. And then the Blade armor. Page 155, the Shadow Armor and the Glide Armor. Page uh, 160, uh, 156, here is the Neutral Armor, Icarus Armor, Hermes Armor, and the Ultimate Armor version 2. And on page 157, uh, there is the New Armor, which is also known as the Command Mission Armor. Then we got X-Fire. And then the Ultimate Armor Command Mission version. And so on page 159 and 58, pretty much all on Zero and Axel forms. And so here is Black Zero. And then Absolute Zero. And White Axel. On pages 160 through 167, pretty much on the vehicles, such as the Ride Chasers and all the Ride Armors, pretty much from, you know, every Ride Armor we saw in the X series. So continue on here. I mean, they look all really cool here and just giving us a description of what they all did in the game. So... And then uh, here's the one we saw in uh, X4 and then the ones that we saw in X7 and then some of the ones we saw in X8. So on pages 168 through 177 focuses on the forms of Sigma. And this is my second favorite part of this handbook. And so in right here, this is uh, the copy Sigmas. And so that pretty much was from X8. But these two right here on both these pages here, the Sigma original and Wolf Sigma from X1 are the very first X game. Let's put it that way. So next page, here are the forms from X2, Neo Sigma and Sigma Virus. And then next page, 171, here are the forms from X3. So Sigma Doppel Town. And then uh, here is Kaiser Sigma. Next page. Well, here we go. The whole, uh, the, the two whole pages pretty much on the X4 forms of Sigma. So here we have Phantom Sigma cloaked and then Phantom Sigma uncloaked. So, and this is it right here, but that's a cool shot of him. I like that. Always been a fan of that artwork there. But uh, anyway, on this next page here, we got Gunner Sigma, Earth Sigma, Mini Bodies, and Sigma Head. And so next page. Uh, here is uh, the uh, forms from X6 of Sigma. We have Psycho Sigma. Perfect name for him, though. <laughs> and then uh, Final Sigma W. And then uh, right here, there is Slime Sigma, which we did see at the end of X5. And then uh, here is the X6 form. So here is uh, Sigma Unfinished. Very cool of him, just unfinished. Like he he was not really complete here, So which he isn't. But uh, anyway, next page here is Hell Sigma, which is still part of X6. 
And so here we go with X7. Here are the X7 form. So here is the Professor Sigma first form. And then here is the uh, Professor uh, Sigma uh, second form, still an X7. And so here is, uh, on, this is now we're uh, dealing with the X8 forms. And so here is Sigma moon body. And I like that. I, that, that. That is different that we've seen in X8. You know, when I saw that, I was like, whoa, total badass. Page 178, pretty much on the known Mavericks. And then on page 178, here is the ally factions. And so on the next page, page 180, uh, it pretty much uh, says advanced reploid body. And then on the next page, uh, it says Reploid Cyberspace Manifestation. And so pretty much just black silhouettes of Zero and Copy X from the Zero series. And I was completely shocked to see this, but I was happy to see they added this, uh, added this in here. But really, really cool. And so anyway, on the next page, uh, page uh, 182 and 183, pretty much on other Udon uh, Mega Man books for our collection that I have already reviewed and so I will have a card popping up um, Right here on you know these two reviews pretty much here on these two books that they're advertising here And so on the next page uh, the very last page page 184 pretty much again the name of the book uh, pretty much uh, credits to our friends and pretty much our bros, Shadow Rock ZX, and Proto Dude, and everyone involved in the writing. And of course, pretty much the Udon staff, the Udon site, and uh, pretty much the month that this book was printed. And it's got Capcom and Udon, and got a nice artwork of X in his very first armor. And so on the back cover here, well, I pretty much read all of this at the beginning of this review here. But we got some nice shots of St uh, Soldier Stone Kong, Dark Mantis, Zero, and Arm Armadillo. And uh, right here, we got the price value of this book. And of course, got an Udon Entertainment Production and the site and by Capcom. Well, friends, final thoughts. Overall, it is a nice book for us collectors. Still wish it wasn't in alphabetical order, but by series number. But, friends, it is what it is. I'll take whatever they give us and everything. And I did not get it by retail price. So this book um, was uh, cheap, and I got it off of eBay. Yes, friends, eBay. But I will say it is worth it, and it is nice to have in our collection to add with the Mega Man Robot Master Field God book if you have both editions. So, yes, friends, yes. I cannot stress this, but I do highly recommend this if you are a die-hard Mega Man X collector. And, I, and I'm going to repeat myself again here because I said it in the last review, but I do feel the hardcovers are worth it and well protected especially if you're a collector in books and well in our case here a handbook so and uh, you may luck out but this may be in your local stores or GameStop one of the two because I did happen to spot one of these and at one of my local game stops I think this was about probably about three months ago as this recording maybe but uh, all I gotta say now is friends good luck and happy hunting and I hope you can find a good deal on this book so again Good luck. And so, friends, that is it for this review. Please check out my blog, Farmer Six, and make sure, friends, you hit that bell when I upload a new video. And of course, my friends, this review on the Mega Man X Maverick Hunters Field God, and this is the hardcover edition. And so, friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing a good day, and my friends, I'm most assuredly see you next time. Bye, friends.